The bookshelf, I'm thinking, feels a little heavy in that corner, right? It will date it. Oh, <laughs> rip me, rag me. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Kelsey in Peach K. You've read the title. You probably know what's coming. Today, I'm going to design my dream home office studio. And then I'm going to have professional designers critique my build and tell me what they would do differently. I am really excited because today I am collaborating with the Sorry Girls. If you do not know them, go check out their YouTube channel. They have so many really cool home decor videos. They also do flips, room redecoration, easy DIYs, and all kinds of gorgeous things. So go check them out if you haven't already. We'll be doing a video on their channel as well. And if you're new here from the Sorry Girls, what's up? Thanks for tuning in and make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time a new video goes live. So if I had to describe my current space, I would describe it as chaotic, messy, disorganized, and just not not functional overall. I really just didn't know exactly what to do. So unfortunately, it's just been sitting like this for like a year now. If I had to describe my dream room for this room, I would want it to be like a functional and beautiful space that makes me feel comfortable. I want room to record here so you guys have a beautiful, interesting, fun background. And then on the side over here, facing this direction, I actually would love like a functional workspace somewhere I could come in and actually like put my laptop down, send out emails, watch cuts of videos, edit, things like that. So I could like actually sit at a desk. Right now, I really just sit on my couch every day to work and pretty sure I'm not doing any favors for my back. Also above my setup on the walls, there's just no art. Like I have plenty of really cute fandom art that I love that I would love to hang up on the walls around the room. I want the room to be decorated, not just behind me, but everywhere so that I feel like happy and comfortable in the space. Space. I'm gonna do my very best to see like, if I had this space and I was like in The Sims, what would I do with it? And then I'm gonna talk with the Sorry Girls and have them tell me what they would change about the space and how they would help make it more functional from a professional standpoint. So then after I get some of their notes, I'm gonna go back into The Sims and make a final design that will then inspire my real life space in their video. All right, let's dive in, I'm so excited. So here's my empty lot. I'm gonna try to make it the correct dimensions, but to be quite honest, this room is either a square or a rectangle and I honestly can't tell. Let's say this is my room. My doors are both black in the room and then we will put in a light so I can see what I'm doing. So I technically have like four ceiling lights which kind of go like this. Oh wow, this room is so bright. So this is like the entry door and this is the exit door and then right here in the middle, these lights are too bright. I'm just gonna put one. Just know that in real life there are four. There's a window right here so I'm gonna put a window window in. It's like rectangular, almost like this, but thicker. It's a very basic window. Kind of like this, honestly. Maybe in a white. Yeah, that's probably kind of what the window looks like. And then we have shades on this window, and it's kind of in an off-white. I think they look better in real life, but this just feels pretty accurate to the room. I have wood floors, which I love. The thickness of these more matches what my wood is, but the wood tone doesn't match, versus this is the right kind of wood tone almost. I'm very picky about these wood floors. I'm gonna go with this one because I hate it least, but I don't think this is very accurate. I just have white walls. That's it. Okay, great. So this is the office. It's small, but mighty. So this is the room. How would I decorate it if I could decorate it? I'm going to start with the table. Oh my gosh, this is really accurate. So I kind of have the desks like this, which is why I can't really like sit in this part of the desk because it's an Ikea one and there's drawers right there. It's not really functional at all. There's really no L-shaped desks in The Sims, which is interesting. Ooh, this one seems really nice though. Maybe we'll swap this one out. Oh yeah, like an even nice long desk. We'll pretend those drawers are like on the other side. But see what I mean? Like you can't fit in there. The reason I have it kind of jutting out from the wall right here is because I need to put my camera there. My camera's probably closer to this. I'm gonna do a tripod. I leave this behind the desk and it'll go like right here. Yep, yep, and then that's the camera. Perfect, we have a gaming system to represent with my computer. And then maybe another one. I put my computers on like the sides here, like my towers. It would be awesome if I could put the tower somewhere else. Like in theory, it'd be cool to put them up here. I just don't know if there's ever enough space because I have too many monitors. I do want a 
laptop over here. So we could put the laptop there. So you kind of know like this is where Kelsey's laptop goes. Oh my gosh, this looks terrible. I guess we'll do this even though that's not how this setup is. And then lighting, I suppose I'll do like floor lights, even though in real life, I have them attached to my desk. So the lights look like that. Pretend there's a couple monitors. <laughs> there should be more. A mic and everything, which none of that is there. I currently have like a big pink gaming chair. I wonder if I could get like a white one like that. That would be really cool. The other thing I was thinking was like art. So I wanted kind of like little posters. Oh, that's huge. I loved like gaming things and stuff up on the wall. So we got some gaming kind of posters and stuff in the back. We're gonna make these the signed versions. They're at least framed, so they look a little leaner. It's like a gallery wall. Oh wow, my vision is just falling apart here. Just imagine these are like Sailor Moon and Star Wars and things like that that I like. Anyway, that's what it looks like right now. Or you know what? We could move some of these things over here and do like shelves up here. That could be kind of nice. And then we put like doodads on them. Cute little Mickey knacks, toys and stuff. Imagine these are pop Funko figures, etc. Yeah, all right, it looks cool, I think. I do wanna work on this backdrop. So this is what's behind me in The Sims. I wanna find all their neon decorations because I feel like something like this would be really cool. I don't know, that would be weird though. But if it said like my username or something, that could be cool. These like little tables back here and I could put like stuff on it that's behind me, you know, like something like that. And then you could put even more little, little doodads on it, make it like decorated somehow. Also, it'd be cool if the background had some sort of like wall art or pattern even. Like this kind of thing looks cool. Like that, that looks really cool. I actually really like that. This is kind of coming together. I'm kind of feeling some energy from this. It's pretty cute. The biggest challenge I'm finding is my own Sims. I can't find anything in this game that I like. This would be like having cool things on it. I just can't find anything that looks like this. Maybe like a lamp or something. I could do like a plum bob back here. That'd be cool. And yeah, and then something like this. You feel me? Are you feeling what I'm putting down? And so then we would have maybe like a bookcase next to it could be cool. Some sort of like storage would be really nice. And I'm thinking maybe instead of this, Maybe I could do something with storage. Oh yeah, that'd be really cute. And then I could put the objects on this and then I would have more storage on here. And it would still be cute, you know? So we have like a little cute backdrop thing here. For over here, I have honestly no idea what should go here. I keep thinking some sort of storage. Maybe this one. Sort of. And then I did want like a dog bed. Maybe maybe even like beside me. Little co-pilot moment. I also have like shields and stuff that I would love to like mount here. Yeah, like this. Let's pretend this is my lightsaber and like this is my shield and I have them like kind of mounted or whatever. Let's add in a cozy rug. Cause you know guys, I love a rug. I kind of like this. It's like a cool pattern, looks cozy. This is kind of a little bit how I imagined it. I think with just more like RGB kind of lining everything and making it really cool cool so that when the lights are off, it's really neat. So this is my finished design. We've got the L-shaped desk. We got kind of the gallery wall of all of my like art pieces and cool nerdy things. We got some shelves to display some like select items. Hopefully we have like lots of storage in this. And then we have like a little table with some cute little pieces on top and some storage underneath. Then we got like a shelving unit with also a lot of storage here as well. And then maybe some of my nerdy like lightsabers or Captain America. America's shield and stuff can be hung up kind of on that side of the wall. So this is the final look of the room. I'm pretty excited to show it to the Sorry Girls and see what they think about it, see if they have any better ideas to make the room a little more functional and also fashionable. So I'm gonna send this over to the Sorry Girls and let's see what they think. The Sorry Girls have looked it over and now they're coming back with their feedback. Whatever it is, we can fix it. We received your design, Kelsey. I'm excited to dive in. We talked a little bit about a gallery wall, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. shelves. Like everything in here is really cool. I think there's a few small things that we could play around with. The bookshelf, I'm thinking, feels a little heavy in that corner, right? Yeah, and it will date it. Oh. <laughs> Rip me, rag me. Instead of the bookshelf, we could take that credenza unit in the back wall that's already there and 
extend it so that you still get the, all that storage back that was in the bookshelf, but it's like this long grand unit that's behind you. Yeah, and if there's a room there, we could put a big tall plant. I think we'd love to do a curtain on the outside. It's just like grand and cozy. I do love a curtain. And I think this could be a really good place to bring in some color. So maybe yes. we pick a color for the curtains and we also paint the wall the same color for like a monochromatic moment. I'm here for it. I think you mentioned you love like pastels and pinks and like bright fun colors. We do have that cool accent wall behind you so it doesn't need to be there but this window wall is a great place to do a fun painted wall. So I'll let you pick what color yep. you want but I think this is a good wall to do some color. So I see that you have a gallery wall on the back wall which is really cool and it also kind of blends onto the other wall but I think it'd be the most epic mm. if we could condense it all to be the one wall behind behind your computer, just make it a really big gallery wall full of art. Yeah, and then where you have the two smaller shelves, I think it'd be visually appealing if those shelves went like the full length of that desk on that one side, and then we can mix in some of that art there. So you do get that gallery wall trailing effect, but with it being a little bit more tidy. Overall though, this is like a really cool design. I think just like in any design, thinking about taking the tones and colors you have and just mixing them everywhere is the best. So if there's any opportunity to bring more of the light wood from your desk to other places, like in plant pots or those long shelves could be light wood. But I think you've got this and we're so excited to see the final design and to make it a reality. I love their reaction. I think they were entirely right. I do have kind of trouble adding color sometimes without like having a theme. I think they hit the nail on the head. I'm really excited about their suggestion. My creative juices are flowing. Let's make this design sorry girl approved. First things first, delete this. Boom, it's gone. So we're gonna make this gallery wall way more epic. I think that looks pretty cool. And then they were saying have these shelves go all the way across. That one's like a little awkward, I'm not gonna lie. But let's just kind of have it go like this. Sims lighting is killing me right now. I think that's as good as we're gonna get it. They also said they wanted maybe these in like a light wood or even a black. I don't really know. Could also make some of these black as well. Ooh, I kind of like the black frames over here. That's kind of cool. We're gonna pretend these wooden shelves match. I know they don't, but we're gonna pretend that they do. And then this is kind of one of the things I was thinking about putting in this corner here. I think that might be really nice. And then we can put more plants. More plants. And then the gallery wall, this like wall thing. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that purple. Little pastel purple moment. Let's see if we have some matching curtains. I'm a girl that wants purple and she's gonna do purple. And that's what it's gonna be. Those look ugly, but they're kind of like the closest option I think we have that are like this. We could pretend. This is super challenging to make something that works in The Sims, but also that I actually want in real life. There aren't a lot of purple decorations. And there's not like a lot of stuff that goes on the counters. Oh, that kind of matches that. That's kind of nice. Oh, that's so cute. Look at this little plant here. Honestly, whatever. It looks cute together. I feel like we could do like a picture of some sort too over here. Pretend that's on the shelf. Or I think there are some like photos you can put kind of like on shelves. I wish those were bigger, but yeah, you kind of get it. Nice. It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's just okay. What if I tried to put it here? Yeah, kind of. Sure. Good enough. This is kind of starting to come together. I'm gonna actually do this little plant here. Put that here. We'll just like have multiple of these female superheroes stand in so we know I'm gonna put more things up there. That's good enough for that shelf. Let's see if there is a different curtain set. Oh, this might work actually. So let's try this. That looks cool. I think that looks nice. I wish this was purple, but otherwise I actually think these upgrades really make this room. I think it looks so good. Cool. And I also think that this is gonna be black actually because in real life I actually did just get a black chair. So I think that would be nice to have black in there. And I think this looks good. So this is our final piece after the designer's feedback. I absolutely love it. I think I would feel so comfy and just like happy and cozy in this space. I already feel like it looks so creative and cool and it reminds me of like me. It like feels like my kind of style and everything. So I'm really, really excited to see it come together in real life, which you guys can do on their channel. So go check out the Sorry Girls. There will be a link to the video below. You'll get to see them actually bring this design to life. It's gonna be awesome. So until next time guys, I'll see you around the internet very soon.